Breaking the... Oh. Welcome to Breaking the wow, Cycle you suck. That was a horrible introduction. Eight. I give you one task and we screw it up. Hi. Episode number eight. Welcome to Breaking the Cycle. Episode number eight here with these two little freak shows. They're stank ass feet. We're all crowded up in here in this section. Midge, you want to tell us what this show is all about? Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and how to lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man or woman your son would want to be. How am I the type of man or woman? Well, for you me. Want me to this isn't, you're talking about what this show is oh, about. It's okay. about for me type to be the of type of, of for me to be the type of man or woman. You want me to wear high heels and a mini skirt <laughs> and put lipstick on? Huh? No. So that you can become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. All right. These are the types of, you want to read, read, that. Want to read that section for us, no, Tyson? Want, Go, Tyson. I, I want to. Tyson? These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that they can <coughs> learn to think. You do that every time. You can't, you like crumble under the pressure are when it's time to perform. Not afraid to be themselves when they are eventually, and they will be, are confronted with these life situations and they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. It? You needed me to scroll for the word it. Maybe you can't breathe because someone's feet are stank back here. It smells like butt, foot, and corn chips up in this mother effer. All right. So today we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to go over a few things. First, we're going to... So we played a game the other day about our our names. We all took our names and we... Move this microphone over here. What's up? It was blocking my face. Well, maybe that's a good thing. It should be like that so you can't see my ugly mug. So we did a we did a uh, we, a family meeting a pop up family meeting. So we have weekly family meetings about stuff about whatever our plans are our goals are and whatever else. But we did a weekly we did a family meeting on breaking down our names as acronyms because we love acronyms we love we call them freak frameworks we do a framework for everything. If you've done coaching with us personal development with us you've done any of our online programs online courses. Everything breaks down into a framework, and a lot of times that framework is an acronym that it's easy to remember, it's teachable, it's coachable, it's implementable. So we did that with our names. We did it without, you have the Russian watching, your number one, and our number one and only fan. So we did that with our names. We took our name. Sit up. Stop slouching like that. What's up with that voice anyway, by the way, Midge? What's up with that voice? You got the Coronas? Corona. Six feet. Mask over your nose. Six Why are you not wearing a face covering? Where's your face covering? You're not Where's wearing rubber gloves. gloves. Yeah. What happened to the gloves? They used to wear gloves all the time. Remember when it first happened? Everyone was wearing gloves and they would go inside out. They would throw their gloves all over the store parking lot. I lots. ain't naming any names, but still some kids in my school wear Oh, no gloves. snitches. Snitches end up in ditches. I said but no names. What happened? What happened to that? Like they, everyone wore gloves like crazy for like a month and they stopped wearing it. But now they still wear the face diapers. They still make you guys wear face diapers in school? Yep. That is hard. Except least, for outside, like recess and lunch. You have my permission to take it off whenever you want. Yay! I'm talking about any time you want. All day, if it's a thousand times. Let's tell you a thousand times. Let me tell you a thousand times. You have my permission. If you feel like you need to breathe some of God's lovely oxygen, you do what you got to do. Yay! All right. So we had a, we had a meeting. First, we broke down all. We have our we have our freak code. The Instagrammers Seriously? and the video can see our our free code family thing up here that you can't see it on Facebook. Oh, God, the Russian is hitting all kinds of stickers and posts and comments. The Russian's at it again. The Russian is at it again. Look at that. Whoa, with a chicky bird or something. What the fuck? Yo, anyway, bro, what the? So we, we took our names and we we ha we described ourselves with the letters of our names. We're going to go through it for the three of us little freaks. She already misses us. And then we also did it with our last name. So we're going to break that all down. In this same meeting, we also we have our free code. We have our family core values. This is a long list of... 12 pretty much points of the freak code, our core values. But then we narrowed it down to four main kind of overarching umbrella core values of what makes our family the freak family that it is. What's the first one? If you are always on Wrong. your... Wrong. Oh. 
That no, that's how we operate. Always, he's saying our our overall our core values, like all of our businesses, the way we operate. That was part of our free code. If you're always on your A game, you have to get again on your A game. Bring the fucking fire every second of every second. But when we broke it down just into simpler terms, we had four that we came up with. So what was the first one? Be a freak. What was the second one, Mitch? Stay in the green. Stay in the green. And if you don't know what stay in the green is, guess what? You don't know, sucker. And you don't have to know. That's our family thing. It's an insider thing. And those of you out there that do know that have been to our presentations and, and been to our courses, you know what stay in the green means and you live by it. It's a powerful thing talking about staying the green. It's such a quick... You guys want to joke? Oh, God. What do you got? What do you write on a robot's gravestone? Oh, no. What? Rust in peace. Get ready for another one. No, 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 not nice. No, I can't help tuner up. Please give me like I need like a few minutes in between to recover from one before I could have another one. All right. So what was number three of our overarching core values? No excuses. And Midge, you better say it the right way, not say it the illegal way. What's our fourth overall core value? I am flipping awesome. I thought you were gonna say it live on TVs. We got the Instagram, the YouTube's, the tweeters, and all that other stuff. I am fucking awesome, but they're not allowed what, to say it that way. What time you let us say it? Not just say it. Wait. Snitches end up in ditches, kid. Nope, I meant it was fun. Oh, oh my God. And you're telling the world that? This is live across the world to the millions of five viewers from across the globe. Or the two or three of you that are watching. The yeah. Russian and, 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 her, uh, and her imaginary friends. Huh? Yeah. So those are the four overarching that we live by as a freak family. It's be a freak, stay in the green, no excuses, and I am flipping awesome. That's our overarching four core values. The way that we operate, which are, 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 is our operating system, is if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game, uh, bring the fucking fire every second of every second, and no excuses, never accept any, never make any. Those are the, the, our operating system. And then we have our free code. Yes, we live by this stuff. And you know what? Sometimes we screw up and we slip up and we don't follow this stuff, right? And then what do we do if that happens? We fix it. And Make it right. What if you notice me going against something on our freak code? What do you do? We tell you to fix it. Hell yeah, you get on my ass. You hold each other accountable. Even a little freak show will lock me up. This little, this little monster will lock me in my place. Like, hey, 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 you! Shoes, stairs, no shoes on the stairs. You even tried the other day during the workout when something happened. Oh, we found the bird that flew upstairs. You wanted to come and see it. You asked if you can keep your sneakers on because you're in the middle no, of working out. No, I found out. it. But he asked if he can keep his oh, sneakers yeah. on come up the stairs. Just for two seconds. What did I tell you? Hell no. Are you with us? Yeah. No. You said no. You can't. Why are you just st staring into space? I don't know. I don't know. I'm back. What the F? Dollar. F? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. To owe you six Dollar. bucks. Dollar. FG. Oh, seven. I can't count either. I can't spell or count, but whatever. So those are our overarching core values. And then we took our names and we broke it down. But before we get into that, we want to get into a couple of lessons here. I need my watch here. I'm going to watch the clock. All right. So let's talk about human reactions to things. If you've ever heard of it before, we had this discussion. I taught Tyson it and actually haven't even talked to Midge about this exact thing. So this is a perfect, perfect time to talk about it. So I can about, learn. About, you know, the way the br human brain works automatically from the ancient old days of the cavemen out there that needed to worry about f running from the saber-toothed tiger when they saw a, a threat or a danger. It was either fight or flight. And they've added in since that freeze. And now modern day has added in fuck it. So fight, flight, freeze, or fuck it. Fuck it means like whatever. I don't even give a damn. I'm just going to do what I want to do. Probably not the smartest thing, but sometimes that's needed. One of those four instant reactions. And here's the thing. It needs to be instant. So if if some Tyson, if some freak grabs your arm on the street, what should be your immediate, not what should be your, how, what's the order of things that should go? Hey, how, how, I'm not, I said Tyson. You don't I said Tyson. I'm not, you can't, you yeah, don't inter interrupting people. No, I just no, want to ask no, you. No, you can't just like. I'm that. So continuing. Yes. You'll get your turn. Settle down. No, I just want to add something onto what you said. That's all right. You can add it once he's done with his it's answer. Not Great. Math. Excellent. I mean, it's not math. Anyway, she go. Well, the first thing I would yeah, do. So... You're lucky I can't. Wait, wait till we get off camera. The two of you, we're fighting. Fight. Uh, a table ladder and chairs match. Go. The first thing I would do was pull the hands off the the person. Well, off of me. 
And then I would flight. So, hold on. What, like, I just know. gave you the four options. I said fight, flight, freeze, or F it. What would you what, what would you do? What would be the order, right? If someone's grabbing you and trying to what would you just hold the hands off? What would that be? Fight. First you need to fight your way free, right? To get free. Then what? Flight. Get the hell out of there. Get some, but also while you're doing that, what should you be doing to get some attention of someone to come and help you? Yelling help. Call for help. And the fight part of it. Can you really realistically, can you really fight an adult at your age? No. You're small. Like you really you could do some damage, like you kind of, if you, you could shank them if you have to, find a weapon, uh, find a hard brick to freaking knock them to make you let go of you or whatever you got to do. Yeah, you like the idea of shanking, huh? Brought a smile to your face. You do what you got to do to get their freaking grubby, grubby paws off of you, right? Make some noise, get free, get the hell away. Now, since you said fumans until the joke, I'm in the middle of talking, though. You got, all right, what's your joke? Why did the elephant have red nails? So he could hide in a cherry tree. I don't, huh? I don't even get it. Why did he have red nails? Who? Elephant? <laughs> yeah. I don't even get it. Usually they're so bad, but I get the, but they I get how it's supposed to be, but I don't even get that one. Because then it's like small little circles that are red, like cherries. And he's hiding in a cherry tree? An elephant? Yeah. Maybe like from a mouse. No, since elephants are afraid of mice. What the hell's a mice got to do with the cherry tree? I'm confused as a mother flipper. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. What's up with your voice there? Where's the raspy? Shut up. Sorry, it's just like this background. Go on. All right. Steve. So, you get you you do what you have to do to get free, whatever that is, whatever it takes to get yourself free. Eyes are very sensitive. Throats are very sensitive. Nut shots are very sensitive. You do gun whatever. Gun shots are very sensitive. Gun shots are. No, gut shots. Oh, they say gun shots. I was going to say, yeah, gun shots could be very sensitive. And, uh, you hit your target. and also gut shots. Gut shot? Nah, gut shots, not. No, but for me, it's like if you punch it really hard, then. Yeah. But you hitting an adult, a gut shot, you'd have to hit a really good spot. Probably Unless not the best. Skinny you need tiny. sensitive spots, no matter how. All right, a bodybuilder, let's say. Let's say you punch a regular person in the stomach and a body in the stomach. Who's going to affect more? Tiny regular. little regular. All right. Let's say you take your thumb and go balls, knuckle deep into their eye socket. Who's going to affect more, a bodybuilder or a regular person? Oh. Same. Eyeball is an eyeball. You do what you got to do to get free. Not that I'm saying you should do that, but don't I want to get here, sit here and say, oh, Steve told me to stick my knuckle, knuckles deep into someone's eyeball. Well, listen, if you have to, if it's a life or death situation... That saber tooth tiger is coming after you. You do what the hell you got to do to get the hell away, right? Freeze is the the worst thing you can do unless you're supposed to. I don't know what they say, but the bear is supposed to freeze. You ever seen those videos where someone has a bear come at them and they just freeze next to it, and the bear's like pawing them and sniffing them and nibbling on their ankle? And they, that one girl, remember we saw one? Some one of us saw it, and the girl just freezes. Like that's some discipline. Huh? You think you could do that? Hell yeah! I don't Bears know. Are cute for me. They're cute. So you'll just be petting it. You'll be rolling around the floor playing with it, probably. You're like, oh, look, it's a big, it's a polar bear. How cute. You'd run towards him. He probably wouldn't even attack you because he'd be like, what is up with this little midget? He'd probably run away from you. He'll think you're like Annabelle. He'd be like, there's something wrong with this. This chick is nuts. I'm out of here. That's what he'd be thinking. You'd be running towards him. He never had no little kid. Imagine a polar bear. There used to be running away from them, yeah. right? So they chase him. Mm -hmm. You're fading real fast. I am. I woke up early. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I am kidding you. Go on. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go into our breaking down of our names. Amazon delivery truck. Yay! All right, so I'll start off first. I'll just run through mine first. I'm not even going to go through mine too much. We're going to spend more time on theirs because this is really what this show is about. These little freak shows. So for mine, I added in the end just quite so I could add in the no excuses at the end, even though I only go, I don't, I don't really necessarily go by Steven. Only my mama calls me that. So unless you're my, unless you're my mama, then you probably not call me Steven. Unless you know it at the project, you know, when Rick, yeah, pick your nose live on video. That's just amazing. That is amazing. You know, during the project, when I'm like getting a little out of control, 
know what Ray does? What? You guys know Ray. Ray Care. Navy SEAL. Ray Care. He calls me Steven. But he points like as if he's a parent, like a mother. It's like, Steven? No. Don't do that. Steven? No. Don't. Don't hurt that person. So don't break like that. A... Don't break that thing. Don't put a hole in that wall. Steven? Steven? So he does. So like a Steven. dog at the project. Like a, like an attack <laughs> dog that's on command to attack and make an impact and change motherfuckers' lives. Hell yeah. All right, so Steven is what I used. I added the N in there, although it's even weird for me even saying Steven because it's not really what I really yeah. say it, right? Sounds weird to even hear me say it. But I put it in there because that is my technically my full name. And I wanted the N for the mother freaking no excuses. That dude's creepy. That Amazon dude is creepy out there in the window. And the door. Window good, thing we're at a, good thing we're at a sniper post and we could. All right. Anyway, so the S in Steven is strength. The T is toughness, the E is energy, the V is violent, the E is endurance, and the N is no excuses. I'm not going to break Slash nuclear. I'm not going to break down what those are right now. I'll save that for another time because I really want to focus on theirs. And then we also have our last name that we'll go over. The Russian had hers too. She could tell you on her show or we could do that on, on the Russian and the Freak on Friday. Plus she had trouble spelling her name. <laughs> Let's start with... Midge, what is yours, Ladies Midge? First. E for. Wait, why isn't my whole entire thing on there? You are not good at this. E okay, for. Okay, then I would do that. You say, why is the top line on there? Okay, I do that. And uh, you say, oh, I'm going to hold the other thing on there. Very, real slick, kid. E, real slick. E is excellent. <laughs> I love vacations. So V is vacation. V is for vacations. That is some a. original shit right there. We're going to break them down after. First going through and then we'll break them down. A is awesome. N is nice. I naughty. I'm going to say clear. We got nice. We got down your leg. Sorry, I'm frog. N is nice slash naughty. Nice slash naughty. K is cool. I just tried to squeeze that in there cause cool. just to make it funky. Make it funky. And my other A is active slash action. Active slash action. So let's break it down. E for excellent. Why is E for excellent? The E is for excellent because, well, because just excellent. Excellent breakdown of excellent. V. Why is V vacation? I've never had, and I've done these, these drills with many, many, many kindergartners before because I'm well known throughout the lands for teaching kindergartners. I go teach them. I do I do substitute for kindergartners. I teach them the real way of doing shit in the world. Oh. We talk about thumb. We go knuckles. We, we, should, we teach the kindergartners knuckle deep in the eyeballs, nut shots, all that good stuff. Head shots with, the, not, with, with, the, with the, whatever. With the high how to, point. How to shank a mother flipper. That's what we teach the kindergarten. So how'd you come up with V? That's a very interesting one. I love vacation. It's just break from school and... And you get to just relax and be yourself yeah, and have fun and I let want. loose and do whatever you want and be your freak self, right? On vacation. But what how, and what can you do? How do you have to wait for vacations to to demonstrate the V in your vacation? Do you have to wait to go on vacation, an actual vacation? Like we went to Costa Rica. Do you have to wait to actually go somewhere on vacation to live that mentality of vacation? Yes. You do? You yeah. can't like think like no. when school's no. over and you're done with your work, like, all right, the rest of this day is a vacation. That's how I'm gonna act. I'm gonna have fun and be free and do whatever I want to no, do. No, 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 no. Right? No. The weekends is like well, a little I mini mean, vacation. Like, it it is a, mi a little mini vacation, but when I'm on vacation, I feel it more. Yeah, of course. And, they, yeah. and it's so much. You want you like those times so much. You put it in your name. I can't believe we were only uh, in Costa Rica for a week, but it, the week. Is only seven days, and those seven no, days we felt for, so long. We were there for almost ten days. The oh. travel was ten days. Yes. Oh yeah, the travel. Well, we were I'm there for nine days. The we were in there for nine days, and then we got stuck oh, and had to stay in Colorado for an extra day. Remember? Oh yeah. yeah. So we were actually gone for eleven days. Totally. Well, well, I mean, like in Costa Rica, discluding oh, the flight. All right, A. What was your A? Also. And why did you pick that? Because I'm awesome. It's one of that our... That didn't sound very... Because oh. it, it's one of our free code rules. I am flipping awesome. Are you awesome? Yes, I am. Do you tell yourself that every day? Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. What if someone told you, oh, that's stupid. You're not awesome. I wouldn't believe them. I would just ignore them and do what I was doing. What if the kids in school said, you're not awesome? Oh, that's so stupid. I would ignore them... 
and just don't believe what they say and keep doing what I was doing. And then punch them in the nose, but don't let them hear that on the camera, okay? Punch them in the nose if yeah, you need to. Yeah, definitely. Punch them in the nose. Yeah, definitely. And if it's a boy, kick him in the nuts. Yeah, or both. Or both. Punch him in the nose, then kick him in the nuts. At the same time, like a flipping ninja. Like, and then after that, you tell like, your big brother to come and help you out. You mean like that? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Don't mind us. You are a sick individual. Sick. Mentally sick individual. All right, your N. You picked two words for N. Nice and naughty. What's up with that? Well... Step out of the kid. Okay. Your phone I'm phone nice, and by nice, I mean, like, I'm kind, you know. And by naughty, I go crazy. All right, what percent of your day and your life do you think is the nice and naughty part? Naughty or, like, uh, 60, nice, 40. Ah. 60, nice, 40? 60 oh. naughty, nice oh, 40. I thought you meant like 60. Uh, I'm going to have to say like more like 70, 30, 75, 25. Yeah. yeah. You are a little troll maker. You are a little demon uh, child. 70, 75, nice. Uh, 20. No, 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 no. I was talking about the other way around. Don't even try and switch it. <laughs> Maybe they'll fall for that bull crap. Your little smile, a little this and that on camera. Camera's over here, you pull. Facebook I mean, the mic's over here, you pull off. All right, and then your K. Your K was cool. You know, you spelled that wrong, right? I know, but you I did it on purpose, want... right? Why? Because I just wanted to uh, make it crazy, and other people will definitely not do that. They spell it the right way, but since I did not know what to write, I wrote cool. And it makes it cool. It makes it crazy. It makes it yep. funky, like you, a little freak funky. show. You're about to bust your ass. That that stool almost. Snapped you ready over. for another joke? All right, what you got? Why did the gel um um wait why did the why did why am I saying jelly uh, sorry I screwed up my joke why did the worm why was the worm late for school no one can hear you because you're babbling you're mumbling and you're already sick. why was the worm late for school why cause he had to wiggle over. My lord. Wiggling is slow, so like. My lord. I don't get that one here. Take this soul. Wow. Our jokes are going downer and downer and downer hill. My lord. Speechless. <laughs> Absolutely speechless. All right, last one, the A. What was the A for you? Freak show? My A is actor slash actress! No, I don't know what you're saying when you talk like this! Oh, yeah! You're a freak. You're a freak. All right, our A was for active action. Why is that? What is that? Active because I love being outside. And action because I do a lot of different things. Movement. You like to happen. move around and you don't can't sit still like on this stool. You're gonna bust your ass and crack your damn dome open. We're gonna see brains splattered no, not, all over not, the wall not, live on camera. Not that kind of action. Well, yes, that yeah, kind action. Of, you move. You like that, action. That Jumping action, on horses, also, riding horses, and stuff like that. Yeah, but also the second kind of action that if I want to do something, I make it happen. Oh wow! Whoa! Some big words, kid. I like it. Good stuff. Oh, this stool is very uncomfortable. Or you're very whacked out. You're going to bust your ass. No, don't say like that. You're really going to bust and break your head Can open. Can I stay? All right, let's go over to Tyson. What were your words, boy? T is for tough. Y is for yourself. S is for strong. O is for obsessed. N is for no excuses. I like it. Although you stole my N, but I'll allow it. I do have a call in seven minutes. We're wrapped this up. So yeah, T. T is for tough. Why'd you pick tough? Excuse me. You, I want to add something on about your name. Your turn is you, over, miss. When you wrote, when when you said uh, N is for no excuses, it, it was also slash nuclear. Yeah, but like I a stuck nuclear with no ball. excuses. <laughs> exactly, because things shit gets nuclear. Yeah. Sometimes we find that out. Like in fog. Or they're down the street. Shit gets nuclear. All right, so T, tough. Why tough? I work out. I, like, push through things. Do stuff when I don't want to. Just, like, 
in hard shit. You do internal, hard shit. External toughness. Mm. It is internal and external toughness. Like internal, like you, you have the drive to do it, and external, like doing those hikes when we can't even feel our knees. It's just bone on bone grinding. And what did we do that one time? We both could barely even walk. What did we say we were gonna do? We did it for ten seconds, and it lasted like two seconds. What did we say we were gonna do? Remember? I said, "You think we could do this?" And you said, "Yeah." We both walk. No, of God, course we, we walked, walking. but we raced. We did a run. Oh yeah. You said you got some juice to run. You're like, not really. I'm like, well, now we got to do it. And we both ran. We're supposed to be for like 100 yards, and we lasted like 10 yards. But we said, all right, that's good enough. We saw we could run, but at least we did it. But that shit sucked. But all right, why? What was why? Yourself. Just be yourself in any kind of situations, in tough situations, and. Why are you telling him what to say? Well, I'm just it is a good one. an idea. It is a good one. But to be yourself, not worry about what other people think about you. Yeah. Do things that make you happy, not other people happy. Do things you like, not what other people like. Dress how you want to dress. Make whacked out faces that you want to make. Wear two different color shoes. Shave your head, which you need a haircut. Get long, fluffy, messy hair that flies okay. all over the place Live in the rain. Live on video, would you shave your head for... Quarter billion dollars. No. Are you a tool? Two hundred fifty million dollars. So you wouldn't dollars? shave your head for two hundred fifty million dollars. I will cut off my pinky on my hand and a pinky toe for that. You probably actually want to cut off the pinky toe. I want to cut off the pinky toe because it's just been broken for like a year and it won't unbreak itself. Will you shave your head for half a billion dollars? You could no. buy a new head with that money. Actually, but you can't buy a new You could literally buy like all you sorts of You could buy a new wings. brain, a new head. You wouldn't even have to leave the damn house till your hair would grew you, back. Would you shave your head for a billion dollars? No. What? You're you nuts. must be you, sick. You're nuts. You're nuts. Them stinky ass feet off me. All right. Need, like, help. Next is S. Strong. Why'd you pick strong? For the same thing, like the hikes, the challenges that we do. Oh, this chair. So strong is a little different than tough. Strong yeah. is more like external. It's, it's also can be mental tough. Like like, external. Tough is more like mental toughness. Strong is like you're actually pretty freaking strong. Like we fight and I have to use some strength against you, you little shit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have go. a match? Yeah. I'm gonna have a match? Look at your little what? stick figure with a little muscle sticking out. A little bag of bones. Drr. Kid, you need to go eat some steak and potatoes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, it's for what? Obsessed. Now, why obsessed? Because I'm, like, humble and just obsessed with things, like buying stuff. I, like, buy two things every week, sadly. He's obsessed with working out, obsessed with... Buying else? stuff. Not just buying stuff. What? What are you obsessed with? How do you not know your own answers? Uh, you are not... You... you you don't know what you're obsessed with. What is he obsessed with? Legos, Nerf guns. Holy shit. Guns. Legos, Nerf guns, real guns, like obsessed. Like we'll sit there and, and get a new Lego set with thousands of pieces and and build it out. Sit there and get it done in one shot. Remember done the deal. Stranger Things? And it's just built. Oh, here's and a little story. I'll tell I'll tell you the quick version. I brought it up. There's this giant you Lego. You're an attention hog. I brought it up. You had to mention I that. I got this giant Lego for Christmas, like 2500 pieces. I'm staying up all night building it until like 5 a.m. Then I wake up the next day. I'm showing it to you guys, and I see a little piece come off. So I, of course, put it back on. Then a couple more pieces fall off, and the whole thing just crushes apart. Crumbled in my apart hand. in his hand. It just, like, just disintegrated. And then all night we were... We rebuilt it. We had to get together, we were, and as a family, we sat there, and we rebuilt the entire we were, thing from scratch. We had to take, first take all the pieces apart, because you can't rebuild it when it's halfway built, because you don't know where to start, where to go, so you have to start it from scratch. So first, we took all the pieces apart, divided them all up, separated them all up, so it made it easier, and then we just all sat there all night until we all had it done, and finished it, and built it together. Obsessed. Now, here's the thing about obsessed. Here's the thing about any word. Think about the word energy. Is energy a good word or a bad word? Good. See, it's good just because you're positive, and you're a positive, have a positive mindset. You could have bad energy. Can't you have low energy, negative energy? Be a person that's just complaining and bitching and moaning. That's still energy. It's just a bad energy. Every one of these, most traits can be positive or negative. We had a, a pretty good discussion about the word obsessed. 
that obsess, it's all about how you think of it. Obsess could be good. It could be bad. You're either upset. You could be obsessed with good things or be obsessed with bad things. So obsessed to me is an awesome word, but most of these words that have an option of either being, yeah, I'm not talking or anything. High five. Yeah. Thanks. No, a, a lot of these words cool. that could be either positive or negative. You tell you a lot, a lot about yourself, the way that you automatically think of it. Like when you hear the word obsessed, if you automatically think it's a bad word, it tells you what your mindset is kind of automatically going towards. So when I hear obsessed, I think that's an awesome fucking trait. For a second, they were thinking that maybe obsessed is not that great. Now, we were having a discussion about it. We said, you know what? I am obsessed and I love being obsessed. I'm obsessed with success, with motivation. I'm obsessed with my goals. I'm obsessed with working out. I can't miss a workout. I'm obsessed with building Legos, obsessed with shooting Nerf guns, with shooting real guns. It's not a bad obsession. Obsessed with making money, obsessed with hanging out with my family, obsessed with going in the pool and things like that. Those are obsessions. Those are good things, especially my goals. Obsessed with success. Like, that's a good thing to be obsessed with. Now, if there are bad things and bad habits, then yeah, you could also be obsessed with bad things. You could have habits that are good, habits that are bad. So, a lot of these different traits automatically tells you about yourself the way that you automatically think about yourself, whether you automatically shift towards positive or negative. Make sense? Make sense? Yes, but I just want to say something. There's a difference between obsession and addiction. Addiction is the bad kind of obsession. Kind of. It, but even that, even addiction, and it's, it's kind of true. That is, More. in general, it is like addiction is like you don't have control of it. Like you no longer have control of it. Yeah, usually you yeah, get addicted when you use drugs and that kind of stuff. Yep, and Which that's we bad. will never. But even addiction, if you're such a positive-minded person, look at this, your hair, they're like snakes from Medusa. Even a, addiction, I hear the word addic addiction, I'm like, yes, I'm addicted. To me, addiction is the same as obsessed, but she gives a better explanation. But if you just get stuck and be so positive-minded, I think, all right, I am addicted to working hard. I'm addicted to success. I'm addicted to getting better. I'm addicted to personal development. I am addicted to it. So addicted can be a good thing. You can be addicted to good things, can't you? Yes. If you're addicted to working out, that's a good thing. You could be addicted to like, you need it. Like, I need to work out. If I miss a workout, I do not feel good. Something is off. I do not <laughs> feel right. If I miss eating healthy, I'm addicted to eating healthy. Wait, you guys want one real quick story oh. about like this? Uh, so, we, Ooh, I, I, let's just say I bought a Lego, a big one, and I was for like five days straight waking up at 5 a.m. to build it. Every single day, it at least it didn't fall apart once I was done. Uh, can you the, tell me the, the, the big T-Rex. Where's the story of the story? What do you mean the story? You said you have a story to tell. Oh. Yeah. That was a story? No, but I'm going to keep going. Oh, I thought you were done. I was like, that wasn't much of a story. So, I got this giant Lego, and I kept telling you and Molly to wake me up at 5 a.m. every day until I was done with the Lego. It was this giant like T-Rex and like gate thing and it took so long to build it. Over 15 hours of building. He woke up before school 5 a.m. and some days when he knows he's gonna miss a workout because he has to go to jujitsu or hanging out with some friends or we have an event or something to do, he'll get up at 5 a.m. to do his workout in the morning before school. Or if he has a new Lego, we'll get up at 5 a.m. to build a Lego. And that what you used to get, you, last a couple years ago, you got up at 5 a.m. to do Prodigy, because you were in competition with your friends to get a higher Prodigy score. All right, and your end for Tyson, let's wrap it, wrap it up here, was? No excuses. And we're going to run you through what the Eckerd is. We're not going to go over what they all mean. We're just going to read them, and then we can talk about them another time, because we do need to get rolling and wrap this up. So can what was, it, what was the E? No, you can read the E. E was enthusiastic. No one can know what you're saying when you're talking. Okay, E was enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Say it with some freaking enthusiasm. C. Crazy. K. Q. We'll move on from that one. E. Excited. R. Resilient. And T. Tactical. 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 So it was enthusiastic, crazy, kill, excited, it. resilient, and tactical. Rounds up the Eckert. So try this out with you, with your friends, your family, your team. And it's it it, it builds up who you are. Who, who is your character? It's a, it's a fun game, but it's also a deep reflective type game is it creates create all kinds of conversations with us like about the word obsessed about positive and negative ways of automatically thinking about things like the difference between obsessed and addiction like these are the types of conversations that this type of, of of activity and drill brought us into so we do need to wrap this up this has been breaking the cycle episode number eight, eight. and listen up 
They will wrap it up in a second. But in case no one told, told you, you yet, yet today, today you, you are, are fucking awesome. awesome. Better not say it. No excuses while I go shut it down. Anything you two little freak shows want to leave these people with. One joke. Oh, boy. Why do robots panic? Because they have a nerve of steel. I don't get it. Oh, wow. At least one that I finally get today, but it's still horribly horrible. I don't get it. All right, and the two freak shows want to leave us off with today. No! At Scout Size! Very, very normal children. I can't imagine where you get it from. We will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.